Right. So, first things first, we're going to clean up. It's been a wild, wild afternoon of absolutely nothing. We made hamburger. We made hamburger and french fry for lunch. And so now we must clean this stove because it's overdue. Stick pans, they're great. If any of you are bachelor, if you're a bachelor that gets stuff stuck in your pans, try out these no stick Teflon pans. They're great. Clean stuff. Cleaning the stove. How's everybody this afternoon? Golden moldy smeat. Gross. A kind and supportive smear cooks you in the overall play. Well, here's the thing. Growing up, growing up, We've always had, you know, pans like this, just stainless steel pans, and they're all right. They're definitely not no-stick pans, though. But these, these are no-stick pans, definitely. They're very nice. Nothing sticks to them. For long. <sighs> yeah, it does look kind of like a plate. It's pretty sweet. It's literally no stick. So in a strange turn of events, our right burner here just mysteriously stopped working. We even we replaced everything in the burner. Still no working. So I don't know. I mean, we're going to remodel the kitchen soon, anyway. And by soon, I mean never. <laughs> that's the, uh, that's the accurate statement there. Did I try starting it in safe mode? No, I didn't. Should I? 
Start in safe mode. Come on now. All right, so that's cleaner, isn't it? Let me see what I can do about the countertop. Make it a little more presentable for the internet. Whiff says it might work. But Whiff doesn't work. That's right. So, inside of this pan, there's chocolate cake. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm certainly not going to eat it. That's for sure. As for dang sure. My dad's cookies. That he insists he's going to eat. <sighs> Documentation for our new hand mixer. In the trash. In the trash. Cookies. We'll need those. Very important. Very attractive. Now the counter's dirty too. Man, dirty. The counter's dirty, guys. It's dirty. Vitamin C. Why did we get a bunch of vitamin C? I don't know. Cashews, gone. Sweet. Raspberry Danish. Trash it. Who cares? Who cares about saving those? That is for our cooking stream. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Sweet niblets. All right. Let me clean off this dirty ass counter. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My bad. Hey, does anybody know the actual uh, amounts for an amaretto sour? Canada, look it up for me. This is gross. Okie dokie. Cooking with hoarders. <laughs> Two parts amaretto, one part sour. Is that really it? <sighs> no, I'm just making shit up. Thanks. Thanks. Very helpful. Well, un momento, por favor. Serrano. Oh god, the sweet and sour is all the way back in the back of the liquor cabinet. Probably would taste good enough. Let's fix that. There you go. All right. Let's 
So we got this thing. I mean, I guess. I guess we can use it. First things first. Chill the glass. Oy. Perfecta. <laughs> Let's just do one one and one and see what happens, right? Eh, we'll go for the two. Stirring utensil. Should I get right up next to the microphone as I drink this? <sighs> Sour, yet sweet. Definitely drink some beer, Fierce. This is our prospective meal for the evening. Spaghetti squash. It's very important you take off the stupid sticker. <laughs> and yell about it a whole bunch, too. Dang. I'm gonna need some room in this trash can. That'll do, that'll do. Alright, gonna need the trash here. You get a cutting board out. You probably won't need it. But hey. I came when I heard the news. You gonna need a knife. And we're gonna cut this baby. We're gonna cut the baby. Okay? It probably won't be straight if you're anything like me. And that's okay, you know? A little crooked cutting never hurt anybody. What the hell is the inside of this squash? This is different. We'll figure it out. So, you need a scooping utensil, and you scoop out the delicious insides. Why do you scoop out the delicious insides? Because they're not delicious. What a surprise. <laughs> you want to get out all the seeds. And this is actually the first time I've ever seen a spaghetti squash like this. Generally, there's a pretty well defined area in the middle that you're supposed to get out. And this time, not so much, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. So you generally want to get out all the darker area and all this lighter area on the sides here is going to be the yummy stuff. Maybe I need to turn the camera upwards a little bit. Maybe, just maybe. Is anybody learning anything? <laughs> Uh, show us the apron. I'm not wearing an apron. I am, however, wearing my shirt that uh, says to poke me. So, uh, y you know, yeah, you know. Go ahead. Poke me if you're feeling lucky. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, the inside of the spaghetti squash smells very pungent. And Fierce said he's never had it before. So, there's that, too. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of seeds in this one. There we go. That's getting them all out. Well, I'm glad we could be a first time for you, Fears. Spaghetti squash is... It's basically like vegetable noodles. I'm sure there's probably quicker ways to get vegetable noodles but I mean it's yummy it adds a nice flavor and if you want to have low carb spaghetti this would be this would be it <clears throat> this was a big staple of my diet back when I was dieting I learned everything I know from Nerd Fitness. <laughs> okay. I dropped a couple of seeds. Now I'm going to need a pan. That'll be big enough for both of those. Sure. And we'll need some foil. see what we can do. <clears throat> My parents went to town. They'll actually probably be back like any time now. <laughs> I don't know. I hope not. Hi mom. I'm streaming live on the internet. Welcome. To 2017. It's New Year's Day in 2017. Don't walk in front of the webcam. <laughs> All right. So, I'm gonna get a little bit of an in-between view here. I guess I should have been preheating the oven this whole time. Not that it's gonna take very long, but hey. Okay, so, never mind, no in between, in between, in between view, there we go, words are hard, you know. So, for the inside of the spaghetti squash, you're going to want some extra virgins for when the regular virgins fail you. Clean the knife off. Very important. And I 
don't know. I'm just walking around my kitchen. <laughs> we need some salt, peeper. Mm, let's see. I don't have any oregano. Normally, actually, no, I do. Look at that. Organo. Do I have any weed up here? Yeah, no weed. But we'll do some garlic spread and some onion powder. That'll be good for the seasoning. So, first things first. Salt these babies up. You hear that sound? That's a beautiful sound. In reality, almost none of the noodles are going to be salted or seasoned. But hey. <laughs> It's going to make yummy smells, and there's not a whole lot that's more important than yummy smells all over the kitchen. Oregano, weed, oh, that pepper's getting to me. I feel a sneeze. Okay, so now we're going to rub it all in there really mostly just pat it a little bit say hey you're all right you're good you're oh you're a good dog good dog good boy okay yay pretty sure i got oregano in my drink now Get some olive oil, put it on there, don't be shy, you want to oil this baby up, oil the baby up, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, don't be afraid of spilling it, because who cares, oil up the inside of it, Get some fingers, oil up the outside of it, wipe off all the seasoning you just put on there, because who cares? <laughs> okay. Now, you flip them both over Arrgh! with your slippery ass hands. Okay. So, these will both go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. The big 4-0. Slippery ass hands. Yes, ass hands. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, am I spicing the squash for the spaghetti? Yes, generally, yeah. Um, it tastes good when it's all put together. It smells good. I like making good smells in the kitchen. What's the point of putting it in at a 350 degree angle? Well, optimal cooking, okay? If you don't understand it, don't ask questions, dumbass. All right, so <laughs> I did not get this cutting board dirty at all, but I had it just in case. Salt, pepper, everything can go back up now. When it comes to spaghetti squash, I like to season the... I like to season the noodles rather than the sauce so much. <clears throat> it's 
So we're going to be using this Classico fire roasted tomato and garlic along with This meat I pre cooked for the stream. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't baste it at all when it's in the oven, it just cooks. It's all good. Let's see. Let me get the trash can out of here. Very good. This and that, and this and that. I should be using some of those juices in my squash. Oh shit. Guess what, guys? It's too hard for me to open. I did it all by myself, yay! We're gonna microwave real quick. Get this meat just a little, just a little heated up. Sauce? I feel like I might need more sauce than this. But no, you really don't. You got enough sauce. You just gotta believe. That might. Might do that. Never enough sauce. There. That'll make the sauce a little more, well, watery. Oh yeah, I sauce it, yeah. I'm not gonna have plain spaghetti. Gosh, that's silly. I guess you did say plain spaghetti, and I just kind of ignored it. I thought you just meant, well, if you're just using it for spaghetti rather than a dessert. <laughs> About to get out a spoon when we have a perfectly already dirty one from doing the squash. Might as well make use of it, right? So for this, I bought some very uh, lean, about the leanest cut my grocery store had. Use some of that liquor. Well, I mean, I could have used milk, but I, I didn't really want to make it milky. Ugh. Oh, God. That's good. That's so good. Liquor is good. Drink your liquor. Get five hours of drugs every day. Canada's quick to answer, man. Okay. Hey, you know what? This stuff isn't going to cook any if I don't turn the burner on. <laughs> there you go. So that's our uh, spaghetti and meat sauce right there. It has 34 minutes to get hot. 
<sighs> yeah. So now we have nothing to do except sit here. So how's everybody doing today? Man, how is it? Oh no, it's smoking! That's okay. Builds character. So Positron, you, you made spaghetti squash before and you usually make it as like a dessert thing? With butter and brown sugar? Oh, you've never made spaghetti squash. Okay. Just regular squash? <laughs> oh. Okay. It's an essential part of your meal. With butter and brown sugar though? It sounds like it's just like sweet. And not really, I don't know, anything but a dessert. But I, I guess, I've just never had it before. Maybe, maybe instead of uh, patin, we should have actually had like, you know, we should have shared actual cooking time. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have brought some girl along. That that might have made everything a lot better. Mm -hmm. I learned a valuable lesson, you know? <laughs> I know, right? Good news, though. Uh, I went with uh, Lawrence Cohen down to an arcade. But while we were there, we also went to a ramen place. And uh, it was pretty good. Not the best ramen I've ever had. But... Who would I give that honor to? I don't know. You know, <laughs> I've only had actual ramen, like... Well, probably five times. There we go. Blowing out candles. <clears throat> Are you saying I've had actual ramen more than you have? Despite living there at a ramen place? You know, I'd say that counts. That counts for one time. Because, I mean, you were just enjoying two bowls of ramen. If it was like you enjoyed one bowl of ramen and then went somewhere else and enjoyed another one, then that would be two times. But, I mean, <clears throat> different kinds. Was it the, the pork belly kind? And did you get the spicy kind after that or something? Well, yes, the sauce, the sauce is bubbling, almost, 
It's definitely cooking though. That much is faux shizzle. Man, I should make y'all spaghetti and meatballs. Pork and chicken. Ooh. Wow. Fancy, fancy. But yeah, actual spaghetti and meatballs could be kind of good, I guess. I haven't made meatballs in a while. Probably next time I make them will probably be with my cousin. Because her husband really liked it when I made meatballs. <laughs> he really likes it when I cook a lot of things because, you know, I'm great. And she doesn't know how to make mashed potatoes properly. I don't understand it. How do you not know how to make mashed potatoes? <sighs> Being raised by a cruel mother, that's how. <sighs> Where's my puppy? What are you doing over there? Come here. <clears throat> Nobody wants to watch this. Watch the floor. Okay, we can probably turn that down. Because it's hot now. And so we really just need it simmering until later. Lola! Come here. What you doing? Hi. Come here. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah. You're the worst. The worstest dog. You want a treat? Let's get you a treat. You've been good. Vitamin treat. You don't know the difference. Alright, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Dance. Ooh, good girl. Alright. Cooking stream. 101. <laughs> I'm washing my hands because y'all would expect me to. Uh, 25 minutes left. Somebody give me a discussion topic. <sighs> well, it's really 24 minutes and 17 seconds, but, you know. You know. My shit is bubbling. Why don't I stir it? 
I normally don't stir my shit. Thank you. Gosh. Positron, you're so stupid. No, that's ulcer. It's not me. Gosh. I'm not the shower shitter. You know what I was gonna do, though? I was gonna try to see if I could find Akuma-sama. <laughs> but uh, I feel like it'd be impossible. Because... <laughs> Uh, I just found out there's a there's a manga called Akuma Space Sama. Uh, uh, oh, here's a here's a a YouTube channel named that. With really shitty things. Okay, I don't care. Next. Here's World of Warcraft characters named Akuma-sama. <laughs> oh, Akuma-sama is also a member at Malware Tips. Wow. Alright, I'm done. That's about all the looking I wanted to do. Whoa. What's with this little battery? My battery just like is gay. What do you know? Oh man. Canned spaghetti sauce versus homemade. <clears throat> um I don't feel like making homemade sauce ever. Not to say I've ever tried it, but from what I know, like making it correctly, it's it's a process. <laughs> Lola, come here. Lila, Lula. Here comes spaghetti elitism. <laughs> uh, I mean, who's gonna be the elite about it? Not me. <clears throat> I use canned sauce all the time just because. It's tasty. I don't care. Are you going to be the elitist Positron? I guess I'm not surprised. <laughs> I did go with you on a shopping trip for an obscure ingredient for a Asian soup. What are you doing, you baby? <laughs> yeah, you did end up finding it. We found it together, remember? Together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently they have... Oh, another one? Oh. <clears throat> uh, Lawrence Cohen was telling me that there's a place called H Mart down here. That's basically that, that grocery store in every single way. <laughs> so, I guess I have a place to go if I want to buy Asian food ingredients. <clears throat> Oh, how's it looking? How's it looking? I can't reach. Looks like shit. That's cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Blake's here. Hello, Blake. Big baby Blake. We are waiting for another 18 minutes. Oh no, a feral dog! Agency is in charge of hunting really regulations in the US. My god. She won't bring it back. <laughs> well, anyway, quarter dog or half dog? What are you, Lola? Quarter dog? cat <laughs> that meat sauce bubble. Perfecta. minutes left. Dog is currently coughing out a hairball. <laughs> oh, fond memories, Canada. Fond memories. 
<gasps> Back when we were young. Yay! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I have nothing to talk about right now. I'm trying to think of something. God, please, no. 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 No! Say it isn't so. Uh, Pangogi's at the arcade. What an idiot. If I stream Monster Hunter 3U for no reason, what weapon should I use? If any. Or of any. If any would be a little too difficult for you, I think. <laughs> uh, let's see. Monster Hunter 3U. I never saw a whore, a whore lot. I never saw a whore lot of... Uh, mm, Switch Axe. Personally. I know you guys probably used it a whole lot. I never saw it. Um, <clears throat> if I wanted to be really shitty, I'd tell you to use one of the bow guns, but that's no good. <laughs> use the use the great sword without any of the. Uh, Without any of the skills, <laughs> use a great sword with nothing. <laughs> That's pretty shitty. You know what? Use sword and shield. Use sword and shield. Why? Because sword and shield was made to be pretty damn good in uh, generations. <sighs> and not in 3U. So yeah, that's what I say. The sword and the shield. Oh, the jump attack? Was that the, uh... Yeah. 
Yeah, the overhead slash, yeah. <laughs> Man. The adept jumping slash, though, it's pretty badass. Eight minutes left. I guess I should put up all this alcohol. Because I'm not going to use any more of it. Because I... I just don't like alcohol that much. You know? <clears throat> Maybe you don't know. Yeah, cooking with cum. Here we are. <laughs> Alcohol just doesn't taste as good as juice. That's exactly it. wants rum when you could have apple juice no grape juice grape juice is the best True that. That's not. Oh shit. <laughs> Prune juice. Organic apple cider. You know what? I bet nobody here has ever had real, actual kombucha. Maybe that's a bad bet, actually. If you buy it from a store, it's not actual kombucha. Hell, maybe none of you have even ever tried it. <laughs> but that's some good shit. Kills your immune system. <laughs> Tastes really good. shits first. Open toilet. <laughs> but wait, if there's only one toilet, wouldn't the person shitting first win? Just out of curiosity. Unless you like, unless you have to be sitting, like you both have to be near the toilet, and whoever starts shitting first doesn't get to get on the toilet. That makes sense. They'd be the loser then. 
alternatively, no. No, actually. Your original, your original's right. No, 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 you got it right. You got it right. <clears throat> the first person to shit loses because they get to shit on the toilet and the other person doesn't. They have to shit on the floor, but the first person has to clean it up. There you go. That's, that's how you do it. Why is this our discussion? What is wrong with us? I need fresh air. I'll tell you what. First person of shit has to eat it afterwards. I know, right? So. Oh, less than two minutes left. We're out here at the final countdown. It's the final countdown. <laughs> Shit on Halo too. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. Oh man, guys. Oh man. The Hollywood sign looks crazy right now. Hello, mother. What's that? We are a little confused. We're old. Oh no! Yeah, when did you guys get old? That's why we need you to take care of us. Have oh. we rethought Marvel Civil War? Yes. Okay, because we were. I ended up watching it on Netflix thinking, well, it must have just come out. How about Star Trek Beyond? Did we buy that? <laughs> We watched it in our living room on the big TV. Which one? Both of them. We have the yawn? So did we the buy new one? Yes, we have the new one. Did it just come out? I'm very confused. We thought we didn't have it yet, so we went to the store to buy it. It came out a while ago. Well, it came out during his birthday back in July. Yeah. In, in the living room with the rest of the DVDs. Okay, so we have... Yeah, I knew we had Independence Day. The Resurgence. So we have Civil War, and we have Star Trek Beyond. Yep. Tell me not to buy Batman vs. Superman. Nope. And that <clears throat> still hasn't come out yet. And what? Then what about Suicide Squad? Don't bother with that one either? Yeah. I I couldn't care less. Okay. Well, somehow we're very confused. It looked like it just came out on the Target paper or something or other, so I thought we could go buy that. What, Star Trek? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's why we 
they came down here. I mean, seriously. What were they? Nice. What were they advertising it for? Y'all are just crazy. Yeah, we're crazy. Crazy um, like Patrick Swayze. Country, I am making spaghetti squash. Ah, well that's healthy. Yeah, I'm gross. I'm healthy. Ew. I'm very proud of you. Okay, well then we're good to go then. Alright, we'll finish up here. Okay, bye. Bye. Woo. Okay. Thank you for that lovely image in my chat. <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Canada, I really want to know, too. <laughs> what does that remind you of? <laughs> Okay, so, oh god, I'm not looking at it, no, not gonna do it, <clears throat> not gonna do it. Sloppy Joe's, really? That's what you think with? Excuse me. I'm doing a burpee. So, the real difficulty here is and scooping out. But we're gonna see what we can do. Tacos? No, not tacos. All right. So first things first, sloppy toes. That's weird. You're weird. You're weird. First things first, you gotta get the spaghetti squash onto an easy to carry receptacle. Because it's hot. And then get the noodles you just do this you mostly get your noodles from the sides and down here from the bottom I guess mm-hmm <laughs> <laughs> don't spill it all very important and make sure not to dig too deep <laughs> if you uh, if you go too deep you might accidentally get part of the outer shell which is not tasty and is also not very edible <laughs> honestly 
So don't do it. Don't do it, you know? So, spaghetti! <clears throat> What's it taste like? Uh, well, I'll taste it on stream and try to describe it to you. But it's hot, so give me a second. It smells pretty much like squash. <laughs> the taste is... Honestly, it's pretty bland. Like rich, creamy, calm. Yeah. It tastes like the blood of my firstborn daughter. <laughs> okay so that's all for this one <clears throat> now for the second one Woo! it's hot it's hot what do you know they're pretty bland that's why I spiced it up pretty uh, heavily because like I said, most of these noodles aren't going to get any of the spices. So whatever spices you do put will, you know, they'll go pretty far. Guess I'll get a better, better view for all of you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I wonder if you you can all hear that dog barking in the background. If yes, welcome to my house this last week. Our backyard neighbors got themselves a... Oh, what's that kind of dog called? Mmm... Shit. <laughs> what in chat if you can hear dog? <clears throat> they got a German Shepherd. There we go. They got a German Shepherd months ago. It's now pretty much fully grown. And they are now taking to just leaving it there at the house in the backyard for days at a time while they're gone. <clears throat> so the poor thing is just out there barking its head off. And we do not want to adopt a second dog. So, you know, just letting it sit out there and bark. You cannot hear a beep, Cliff. Don't even pull that shit with me. <clears throat> I, unlike one very specific person in the chat, actually replaced the batteries in my carbon monoxide detectors. So, shut up. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Of course I do, I'm white. <laughs> yeah, right. That's true. I forgot I was white.
So this sauce, as rich and flavorful as it is, is going to add a lot to this spaghetti squash. There we go. I'm going to put the rest of the sauce in with the spaghetti squash that's left over. <clears throat> okay. And we're going to wash out our pan, pot, pan pot, pot pan. Who's got a pan pot? Pan pot, pea pot, poop pot. You know. Okay. That's that. That's that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Hot to my life. I'm sweating. Woo! Word. Okay. <clears throat> That'll need to be washed. Oh, shizzle. Okay. Well, there you have it, everybody. From a squash to spaghetti in five easy steps. Let me mix it up while my dog eyes me. Mm hmm. Very good. Hello. All right. Now bone up the teeth. That's why, yeah, that's why it's called spaghetti squash. It's stringy. <laughs> See? <laughs> Unlucky nose. It's called spaghetti squash because it comes out like spaghetti. All right. No, no. It's an actual kind of squash you can buy at Walmart. It's called spaghetti squash. Not just at Walmart, you know, any grocery store really. Sam's, Costco. I don't know if I've ever seen one at Sam's or Costco actually. <laughs> Haven't you carved a pumpkin? What? <laughs> I've never carved a pumpkin. I'm 25 now, never done it. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. There will probably be more uh, more Divinity Original Sin stream tonight. Unless Canada's not up for it anymore. Who knows. Keep thinking I'm younger. Damn. I joined Deep when I was 17.
that's that's the real scary part is uh <laughs> D-Man 99 is about to be 10 years old but yeah uh see y'all on the flip side whatever the fuck that means like comment and subscribe on my youtube video especially if you like spaghetti squash cause damn it's delicious <laughs>